Hi everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I'm going to show you how to make this really lovely display, tiered display box card, something along those lines. I really like how this one come together. I was just playing around and I wanted to have all of these parrots and I wanted to have a way to show them all staggered and I've come up with this one here. So you can see all the different tiers there. It reminds me of like a sports stadium. It could be a magazine display rack. There's lots of other ways that you could decorate this and I do touch on that throughout the tutorial. You can see from the bottom there, probably a bit clearer how it all works. So today's video has very kindly been sponsored by Craft Label. So they've given me a discount code, which will be popping up now and you can use that on any of their full price own brand product. They also have a huge catalogue of other brands over there as well, including Cricut. So any of you digital crafters, they have a really good variety of product over there. And like I said, lots of other famous brands as well. So go check it out. But now we're going to get into the tutorial and I'm going to show you how to make this really fun card. It also folds flat and it will fit into one of my box envelopes and I will share those along the way. OK, so first of all, you're going to need a piece of eight by six and this is the, the back of the card. So along the eight inch side, you want to score at two and six inches. And then these are going to be the kind of steps or the tiers inside. So this one's the biggest one at the back. This is five by four and seven eighths. Along the five inch side, you're going to score at half and four and a half. The next one, all of them are five inches wide. So again, five inches. But this one is three and seven eighths of an inch. Again, half an inch and four and a half along the long side or the five inch side. Then the next one again, five by two and seven eighths. And you're going to score at half an inch and four and a half along the five side. And then this is the very front piece. This is five by two. And again, you're going to score at half an inch and at four and a half. So the same scoring on all of those pieces. They're just slightly different heights. Next, you want to fold and burnish all of the score lines. Then with the largest piece, the main card, you just want to grab a ruler and a pencil and you just want to mark up two inches from the bottom. So just lightly with your pencil and again at this end, two inches up like so. Then you're going to grab your trimmer and you're going to cut from the pencil mark up to the top here where that score line is. So I'm just going to lay this in here. So I'm lining up the pencil mark with the blade and then the blade with that folded section there. And I'll just cut. We can rub the pencil mark out in a moment. And again, I'm going to do it upside down this time. So I've got the pencil mark again just by the blade there and then the score line hitting the blade here. If you'd rather use scissors, you could draw a line across here and then cut it with your scissors, you can. So next you want to start decorating it and I think it's easiest to do it bit by bit. So once we add one tier, decorate it, then the next tier and so on. So it's just easier to access. So I'm using the Finding Paradise papers. So this is the 8x8 eight eight pad and I've just fussy cut the birds and things like that. And I'll talk you through exactly the papers and stuff that I've used for that in a moment. But first of all, I've taken this one here and this is going to go in the back. This is three and three quarters by five and three quarters. So it just gives me a nice border. And then I'm going to stick this one over the top. But you can build this all up and then slot the papers in, but I think it's easier to do it this way. So I'm just going to stick that one down first of all. Next, you want to grab the largest of all of those pieces, the five inch wide one. So this is the tallest one and it's going to stick in like this. I'm going to bring up these sides. Now I'm going to give you the measurements to the paper to decorate the outside. If you want to decorate the inside, then fast forward to when I give you the measurements and you could stick those in now before sticking this in. But I'm going to keep inside plain and I'm just going to add my glue down each of the tabs. And then I'm just going to lay it down so that the bottom is flush with the bottom of the card and then just bring up the side. And then you can lie that flat. And then just you'll see when you lay this down completely flat, it will line up with that score line. So you can just fold that piece right over. And you'll see there now we've got our first section. Then I'm going to decorate this one. So I've got another piece. I'm doing all the pattern paper the same inside, but you can change yours. So this one here, 
is three and three quarters by four and five eighths of an inch. Again, I'm going to stick that one down. Okay, then you're going to get the next one down. Again, add your glue along your tabs. Focus on one side. I'm just going to slide that in there. Make sure the tabs hit this piece here. You can see it's kind of already in place and you want to make sure it's flush with the bottom. And then just fold it down one side. Like so. And just fold it both sides. Then I've got the next one. So again, this will be three and three quarters wide by three and five eighths. And then you should be left with these two, the smallest ones for the very front. So then you'll work. So you want this one here. Again, add your glue. I'm going to pop that one in first. Just make sure that grabs again each time, making sure that the, the end runs right next to the one that you've stuck down. And then again, just clip that one under there make sure the whole thing folds flat okay there's no reason why you can't leave it like that at the front and have these bits kind of sticking out it still looks nice then you want to stick down your last pattern piece so this is two and five eighths by three and three quarters and then lastly with this one here so again you just want to pop your glue and then I'm going to sit that one in If it's sticking out at all, then just trim a little bit off of your, your tab here, but it should just go right in next to the others. And again, just lay it down. Now you should have that look. It looks really good and it stands really well. I've just had another idea with this as well, because it looks like the magazine kind of rack is you could go onto the internet and you could find you know, whoever you're making the card for, maybe their favourite magazine kind of theme. So whether they're into football or fashion or gardening and you could find all of like the covers of magazines, shrink them down so they're really small. And then you could stack them all up in here and then have the sentiment, you know, happy birthday on the front. I think that would look awesome. It's a really nice idea. OK, then on the back, I've got this pattern piece here, which is three and three quarters by five and three quarters. And then this piece is three and a half by five and a half so I'm just going to mat and layer those in fact I'm, I'm going to leave that one off for a minute because I might stamp that but I'm going to get this pattern piece down next to decorate the sides I've got two pieces of one and three quarters by five and a half and you want to mark up on well this one here you're going to mark up because it's going to go on this side so you're going to mark up on the left hand side from the bottom and you want to come up two inches and then this is a non-directional paper so what I would do is put them both back to back and then where my two inch marker is I would just cut across both of them. If it's directional paper then you want to come up on the right hand side two inches. I'll do it that way just so you can see but like I said if it's a non-directional like I've got then it doesn't matter. And then you just with your trimmer pop it in and you want to line up the point with the blade and the pencil mark with the blade. So similar to how you cut the sides of the box earlier. Okay, so now I'm going to stick those both down. So that's all the layers stuck down. So next I can decorate. So I fussy cut all of these pieces from, now I think it's a mix of the 12 by 12 and the 8 by 8 so for the the leaves and the parrots to get them that size I use the 12 by 12 pad and you can see where I cut them there so you get nice size images really easy to cut and then for the leaves again one of the 12 by 12 papers you can see there but to get the smaller flowers I used the 8 by 8 pad and you can see the smaller ones there so whether you just have the 8 by 8 you can still you know get some really nice flowers and you may not be decorating yours like mine anyway so whatever you've got just have a variety of sizes and then that'll look nice when you start to decorate it all now on the front i've got the coordinating glittered alphabet stickers and i'm thinking about having happy birthday or let's celebrate or yay let's actually know the yay i thought of 
was the washi tape so you get this one here so I'm going to play around with the design but I, I want to have the sentiment there and then I've got the rub-ons so I'm going to do that now so you can see how that works because I'm going to cut around it then so I'm going to use this piece of scrap card you want to cut out whatever one it is you want to use so I'll just cut that one you get two in a pack so I've cut this one first you want to take the and I'm just going to stick this down onto here and then you want to rub it and then just slowly start to peel it off and if anything's still attached then you need to go over again but you should be able to pull the release paper off or plastic like so and now you'll have that transferred and it's really smooth it's got a really nice effect and then I'm just going to trim around that And I'm going to put it on a little toothpick so it looks like a little sign. I'm going to have it in there. So it's going to have party time with all of the parrots around it. And then let's celebrate, I think, with the glitter stickers at the bottom. the finished card really pleased with this one it's actually the next day now so um i needed i was still unsure where to put this i wanted it to be seen but i didn't want it to hide any of the parrots so i popped it there and i'm happy with that now but you can see it all folds nice and flat and then it just stands and displays really nicely i ended up changing it as well but i've changed it back now to what you saw me do but i actually had the happy birthday on the front here and that sign was down here as well, but I just wasn't feeling it. So I went back to the Let's Celebrate. I actually ended up gluing these because they're, they're not too tacky. So you can place them down, but then I would advise just popping a little bit of liquid glue onto the back of them. And then that's what I did on the back there as well. And I just added one of the other flowers. But I'm really pleased with how this one's turned out. So I hope you've enjoyed this triple uh, multi-tiered display card i'm really loving this style and i'm definitely going to be making some more of them be sure to use your discount code if you do head over to the craft label website also if you've enjoyed today's tutorial make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell and that way you'll be notified every time i upload a new tutorial thanks for watching and i'll be back again soon bye